What's up YouTube? How you guys doing today? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day out there. Today we got in Comic of the Month Club. If you guys don't know, Comic of the Month Club runs about $14.95, I believe, and then five bucks shipping, so roughly about $19.95, $19.99, uh, $20 roughly in that vicinity. You get 10 comics of whatever genre you pick. I kind of went for the older comics. Uh, a little heavy on Marvel, not so heavy on DC, a little bit of image in there. So it just depends on what they send you. Um, I don't really have a classification of what I get. Um, you know, they, they tend to like to send me like fa Final Fantasy, or Final Fantasy, Fantastic Four, <laughs> um, and some other great ones like X-Men and stuff like that. So and I really, really love their service. I really think it's a great service that they provide. All your all your uh, comics come bagged and boarded. They always update you every month on their changes and what they're going to be doing. So I really, really love this company. Really, really do. So if you guys are interested in your own Comic of the Month Club, I will leave my link down below. You guys will feel free to, to go ahead and dive in. Uh, if you are a comic collector or you love comics, I highly suggest this service. Uh, so this is going to be um, October's box. Just got it in today so always comes nicely bagged and we got our little note on top to see doo -doo -doo. tell us any updates that they may have so let's go ahead and read those off alright says this month's improvements bonus books gotta love bonus books as we mentioned last month now we offer 10 comics a month. These 10 comics are still based off your preferences. However, some months will also include some additional theme books. Of course, for our October, the theme is horror. So awesome. The book, bonus books this month are Living with Zombies. These books were created by some local artists out of our hometown in Evansville, Indiana. Oh, very cool, very cool. Alright, so next month's improvements. Conventions. We will be attending conventions in the coming months. If any subscribers come and see us, we'll give them free comics. There you go. Our next convention will be at the Fort Wayne Fantastic Con on October 28th and 29th. So if you guys are out there, make sure you stop by and get some free books from them. Uh, retro Video Games. This won't impact our comic sub subscribers, but we will be launching a video game subscription box uh, as soon as next month. Comic of the Month Club subscribers will get a discount. So if you guys are into video games, you like video games, retro video games, uh, they're going to be starting up their own retro video game service. So make sure you keep an eye out on that. October suggestions. We got some really great su suggestions during October's contest and are categorizing them to see what is most pop popular through thoughts were. One of the more uh, suggestions might be in our next improvements. So very cool. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, so, let's see here. We got a little, oh, cool, we got a little, um, a little bit of an advertisement here. So this is the code. If you guys want to, go ahead, I don't really read comics online. Uh, so if you guys want a digital code, go ahead and grab that. But this is also a bookmark with a free comic book from Digital Code, courtesy of Comic of the Month Club and Hackam Lab Comics. So there you go. Very cool. Alright, so let's get to the comics. Let's get to the good part. Alright, so our first comic here is the the extra one that they said that was uh, home, home bound. Uh, this is Living with Zombies, so I'm really interested in checking this out. Very cool cover. Very interesting. It's from Goathead Publishing. This is issue seven. So interesting. Livingwithzombies.com. So if you guys, very cool. I will have to check that out. That'll be on my to-do list. All right. Let's see. First comic of the subscription is Marvel Comics Force Work. I don't remember hearing of this. 
This is number four. This is an older comic. Looks like it's probably late 80s, early 90s. Um, Intro to Ember, Protector of... Can I even say that? Destroy, destroyer of Force Works. Interesting. Okay, so it seems like we might have a villain on the front there. I, I don't remember this. If you guys remember it down below, feel free to comment. But I, I don't remember Force Works. Interesting nonetheless. Looks like pretty cool. All right, check out the next one. We have, looks like we have a Spider-Man. Yeah, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, number six. Inner Kingpin, Exit Spidey. Dun, dun, dun. Very cool cover, though. I like that cover. And who doesn't like Spider-Man? I got quite a collection of Sp Spider-Man going lately. All right, next we have more Spider-Man. This is Marvel Tales featuring Spider-Man. It features the Black Spider-Man. Number 281, uh, Manslaughter on the Assault. Boy, get that glare off there. Gee, manitly. Very cool. Alright, next we have... Da -da -da, Marvel Tales featuring Spider-Man and X-Men, number 236, the thrill-packed conclusion to The Lords of Light and Darkness. I love these older, the older, um, uh, comic covers. I think they're really cool. Dang, that glare is just sucking right now. All right, there we go. Very cool. Alright, let's see here. Next we have... Doo -doo. We have us some Captain America, number 424, Sneak Attack by the Sidewinder. So, definitely love me, my cap. Gotta love some Captain America. So, very cool to get that. I dig it. Very, very cool. Alright. Next up, we have da -da -da, more Captain America. This is number 415, Jungle Mayhem. Looks like we got Falcon in there. It's, uh, let's see. Black Panther. Gotta remember some of these names. <laughs> Captain America. Alright, next we have Conan the King. So my buddy, uh, buddy over at Tracy's Basement, Jason, he'll, he likes a lot of Conan as well. This is number 49. Da, da, da. Conan the King. Alright. Next, look, feels like we got a thicker one here. We got an X-Men Unlimited, number 5. This is a really thick book. Uh, yeah, 395 cover price. So back then, 395 was big jump but this book is thick so this is X-Men Unlimited number five I remember them doing these really thick ones thinking 395 was a lot and nowadays <laughs> pretty much cover price for any book now alright next one up another thick one we've got another X-Men Unlimited this is number four this is a very 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 cool cover with Mystique, Rogue and uh, Nightcrawler on there. Look at that. I love that cover. Very, very cool. Alright. And last but not least is another X-Men Unlimited. This one is number three. Uh, we have, looks like Wolverine or Sabretooth. Among Us as Sabretooth. So very cool. Another really cool looking cover. I love these X-Men Unlimited books back when I was younger. I remember them being just them being expensive when I was uh, young, but back then 395 was. So how times have changed. Now we're willing to pay five, six bucks for a thick comic like this. Alright, so we got us one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, and then we got our extra, so that's 11. So, this is the Living With Zombies one. Again, was a local artist that they threw in for this month's uh, bonus book. 
and it is a horror one. Real quick, I just wanted to um, see what the inside is on this and see if I can show you. So it is just uh, basic, uh, like, um, oh shoot, black and white, but almost like a coloring book type uh, pages. But cool nonetheless, local artists. I love how they support their local uh, artists, so definitely very, very cool. I think that is very awesome of them to do so. So just wanted to show you a little bit of that. So this is Living With Zombies from Go Ahead Publishing, number seven. Very cool. So again, if you guys want your own uh, Comic of the Month Club, I will leave a link down below. Make sure you hit that up, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.